In this video, I'm going to show you a workaround for how to use Zoom virtual backgrounds on an Android. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up y'all? This is Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we make weekly tutorials to help educators and creators spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then smash that subscribe button now. The virtual background feature in Zoom meetings has blown up recently, and while it seems everyone is using them, Android mobile users have been unable to access the feature because, well, it doesn't exist yet. And there's no talk of when virtual backgrounds in Zoom will become available to Android devices. But rest assured, I've got an easy hack allowing you to use virtual backgrounds during Zoom meetings right from your Android device. So stick with me until the end to see it all come together. Now to do this, we're going to use another application to act as our virtual camera, enabling us to integrate it into our Zoom meetings. The app you need to download is TikTok. That's right, download TikTok. And you don't even need to sign up for TikTok. We'll only be using the interface of the app. Once installed, launch TikTok and click on the plus icon here. This opens up to TikTok Creator Studio, where you'd record or upload your videos. Now, we're not even going to click that record button. Instead, we're going to click into the effects panel here and navigate to this icon here to enable virtual background with an image. Or you can use this one down here to enable virtual background with a video. We'll click on the image icon here and we can select an image from our gallery to use as our virtual background with this plus icon right here. I'm going to pick this Jurassic Park background right here. And there you go. We've enabled the virtual background effect in TikTok only using the main interface. Now, should the background you uploaded not fit within the screen appropriately, like this one is being cut off, then you'll need to format your image or video into a vertical layout. A quick way to do this is to jump over to Kapwing, which is a content creation tool to make videos and graphics. Use the link in the description below to create your account. Once inside Kapwing, click on New Project, then click on Use a Specific Tool. And as you can see, Kapwing has a variety of useful tools displayed here. We're going to use the Resize tool here and click on that. Now, if there's an image or video online that you'd like to use, you can paste the URL here, or you can upload an image or video here, which is what I'm going to do right now. Once our media is uploaded, we'll want to select the 9x16 size right here and that'll trim the frame to fit this vertical format. Then we'll click on the crop button here, which will make the image fill the frame. Next, we can use these arrows to move the image over and into the frame like this. Once you've got it to where you want it, click on the Create button and Kapwing will go to work processing your new graphic. Once done, download your file and transfer it into your gallery. Then, back inside TikTok, let's upload our new background and now the image is properly formatted for the vertical orientation of the screen. Okay, now we've got our virtual background loaded inside TikTok. Let's now jump into the Zoom Cloud Meetings app and launch a new meeting. Once inside the meeting, we'll click on the Share Screen button down here and select the option for Screen, which then tells you that Zoom will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen, which is exactly what we want to do. Okay, the screen is being shared as the source of our video on the Zoom call. Next, navigate and open your TikTok app and reselect your background if needed. Now you're using Zoom's share screen option to share TikTok's interface, which allows you to not only use the virtual background options in TikTok, but any other background, filter, or sticker inside TikTok your audio will still be transmitted in addition to the shared screen option. So it's a win-win. Now, you do have some of TikTok's interface on your screen, but I think the ability to use and experiment with virtual backgrounds on an Android is definitely worth it. Now that you can finally have fun with virtual backgrounds on your Android, you'll want to watch this video next to discover the best virtual backgrounds available online. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.